just steaming up to Gary's Anchorage or the entrance to Gary's Anchorage here. Uh, we're going to he keep on heading past. We're in good time to get high tide at Sheridan Flat. So while the tide's high, we'll skip through there. That puts us uh, on the other side of the Sholey Patches and leaves it open to what we do. Uh, we're probably going to go into uh, Yankee Jack Creek and uh, I'm going to send Gay out with a fishing rod to catch fish for dinner tomorrow night. We'll see how that works. But anyway, uh, it'll be good to get through the shoals and then we can make it up as we go. Well, we don't wear skimpy bikinis. Hell, it frightens me when I take my shirt off. There's definitely no one pregnant here. This is motor sailing for old dudes. We do live on a boat, and we do cruise extensively along the Australian coast. Join us and visit some great destinations. Learn how to look after a boat and live off grid. It might even get you enthused to do the same thing. Hey, stay out there till you can't. Well, to a successful bar crossing and uh, an excursion up the Sandy Strait. Cheers. We're anchored in uh, Yankee Jack Creek, so uh, just a bit up from the North Whitecliffs. It's a pretty lousy day for fishing, so uh, we decide to head up to Moon Point and spend the night there. And today we're making date scones. Ooh. Yum. Scones a la babi. Drink it off uh, Moon Point on Fraser Island and last year they had bushfire that raged all the way across the island 
and you can see the landscape beside me is uh, totally burnt out. Must have burnt right down to the water's edge. So uh, yeah, just starting to recover now, but that's uh, 12 months ago all that happened. in the uh, Port Marine. We've got a berth for the night. They're very busy because they've got a rally on so uh, it's a bit harder. If they're giving us a berth for the night we're going to go and get fuel first. We'll tie up in that berth and we might be able to get another one for the rest of the week. We'll just see how we go. We'll plan and see what berths we get. Good marine to have been. I like it. It's a bit like being home. I worked here for four years when I was working and I uh, lived on the boat in this marina so it's a bit like coming home every time I come in here.
I've come over to the marina in Bundy and we're going to stay here for a week. We'll do the shopping. I've given the boat a wash already. And uh, yeah, we'll just hang here for a week. It's been a little bit windy. Beautiful night tonight. It's just a lovely sunset. The sun going down at the moment. And uh, yeah, catch up with a few people here. Do the washing. We've washed all the sheets and done all our big washing, so it's good. And uh, yeah, a few other little chores. So we'll have a good time here till uh, next Sunday, about a week or so, and then I'll head a bit further north. It is a bit warmer here, although it's getting a bit cool now in the evening. Good fun though. That night there's a big crowd at the cruisers lounge. Uh, there's a rally leaving next week and there's a lot of uh, boat crews in here ready to go. Tonight's a special night. We witness a full eclipse of the moon, or a blue moon. Pretty special. There won't be another one for 35 years. The plan was to get up at uh, 4 o'clock and leave here at Bundy, but uh, it was a bit windy when I got up, and uh, we decided against it. But now it's 7 o'clock, and uh, the wind's dropped right out, so we're going to make a mile. Uh, Pancake Creek, here we come. about a week ago. Uh, registered number is a Fostrot Bravo 014 Quebec uh, and we're just leaving the Burner River but we're down for uh, Pancake Creek or 1770. Yeah, no worries at all Peggy. Yeah. Could I get a, um, could I get a, a size description of VOB please? Yeah, a white motor sailing uh, catamaran, uh, 13 metres long. Could you give me an uh, ETA for uh, round hill thing? Uh, yeah, round hill probably around about, uh, I'd say, 1700 over. No worries at all. Can I get a mobile phone number on board to Peggy Ann? Yeah, it's uh, zero.
pretty good day out here really. Uh, probably around 20 knots now, but uh, we're about four hours away from 1770, so we'll get into, uh, we'll get into the creek there and um, yeah, spend a night at least, have a bit of a look around. Bit of sun out, but uh, still because the wind's from the west, still very cold. Uh, a lot of clothes on to try and keep warm. This is uh, Round Hill Head at 1770. I just called VMR. We've got here about low tide, so this is where you don't want much draft. Um, they've told me how to get in, but it's all a bit ambiguous. So uh, we've just got to go in and eyeball where the channel is. Um, there's a, a port and starboard buoy on the way in. Uh, but then after that, we've just got to sneak around and see if we can find the deep water. So. Uh, We'll have a bit of a poke around and find it, hopefully. But uh, we'll see how we go. I guess this is what we do it for. This is uh, 1770, it's a great shallow little anchorage. Very shallow getting in here. Probably down into about 0.8 of a metre coming across that bar at a pretty low tide. So if you're gonna do it, do it at high tide. Uh, and you should have a couple of metres on it. But uh, yeah, it's a pretty shallow entrance. Once you're in here, there's a bit of water. We've got about two metres under us now and it's just about low tide. It was a pretty wild night here at uh, 1770 last night. I reckon the wind was up around 30 knots, so I'm glad we're in and anchored uh, when we were. But uh, the wind's dropped off a bit today. It's gone back to the west again, so it's very cold. Uh, we're going to stay here till lunchtime, so we've got a bit of tide over that bar, and then we'll um, head out and up to Pancake Creek. It is getting a bit warmer, I think, as we head north, so that's the plan is to uh, try and get out of the cold weather. Good morning dudes, uh, we're off up the creek at 1770 to get coffee. Good spot here but very shallow getting in. I think we carried about 0.8 of a metre over the bar at low tide. We actually touched a little bit coming in so if you're going to do 1770, uh, make sure you've got a bit of tide on that bar. It's very, very shallow. Best vanilla slice you can buy in Australia, I think. <laughs> 